everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my first update for the Panning Games. This is a Fantastic Ladies collabs and it is all based on the Hunger Games movies. There are 24 tributes from the 12 districts and we had to quickly pick 24 products without looking in 30 seconds. I did that in my intro. I will link it up above if I remember. And um, yeah, I got a lot of stuff that I wish I hadn't. <laughs> But it's all good. We have a year to use this up. Started August 1st of 2018 and it goes to August 1st of 2019. And surprisingly, I actually have some empties. They were easy products to use. One of them you wouldn't think it would be an easy product and it was one that I was kind of worried about, but um, it, it proved to me that it didn't have as much in there as I thought it did. So let me show you my empties without further ado. I'm gonna start with the non-makeup first. This is the Jurgens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer and this was fair to medium. I did actually like this. However, if, uh, if you're not careful and if you don't towel dry after you put this on, you will end up with streaks, which I did. And um, it looked awkward, so I, I'm not a pro at putting that stuff on. The next thing is the Dressner Essence. I'm sure I've mispronounced it. That is, is like a bath additive. I really like this. It smelled really good. I was able to get three baths out of this one foil, which is pretty cool. It, it smells really good. All right, I also finished a perfume sample, really easy, and it's one that I love. This is Lancome Tresor. Let me open it up. It is this little guy right here. Yeah, I am sad that that is gone, but I really did enjoy it. And um, that will go back on my Christmas list because I have not owned that in a while other than in sample form. All right, here's the one that kind of surprised me. I got three eye primers in the intro and a lot of people commented about that and I've actually finished one. This is the Prime Time Sandalwood. I had to check to see what that is. And surprisingly, this didn't have a lot of product in it. I mean, as you can see, it is, it's done. Uh, and I, I liked it. I like the prime time. I like the color, but um, I don't know if it's because it was older and a little drier and thicker, and that's why it didn't seem to have as much in it. But um, yeah, that is done. So I'm down to two eye primers. Not bad. So I have a Let's see, I have four done, so I have 20 left to go. I'm not having a good day with math, apparently. Not a good week with math. Let me show you the things that I do have some progress on. I'm not gonna show you everything because I don't have progress on a lot of things because, you know, I have a lot of, a lot of stuff going on here. I, I certainly don't have any progress on the two full-size face washes because I had two that I was already working on and skin is in. So you won't see those probably for at least another month or two for progress. Yeah, I got a lot of dupes on things. Not very good, not very good. All right, what we do have progress on, the first one is the Neostrata Enlighten. This is an illuminating serum. It was new when I started. I love this stuff and I am down here at the red line. I do believe that I will have this done by the next update. And I will be sad when it is gone because I really enjoy it. The other four things that I'm going to show you were all makeup. I wanted to get the non-makeup out of the way first. The first one I'm going to show you is the Bare Minerals Tinted Mineral Veil. It looks like this. I was at this top red line at the introduction and now I'm at this red line right here. And I am wearing it on my face today. And it was a good draw because I got the it Cosmetics Celebration Foundation, which I'm also wearing today, but I am not a fan of. But it is a little bit too light for my skin tone. It is medium, but since it's summer, I'm a little bit darker than normal. The Tinted Mineral Veil helps bring this color closer to what I need it to be. And as you can see, I've completely worn away the embossing. It said It Cosmetics on it. That is gone. There is no dip yet. Um, and these are deep pans. These are very deep pans. I'm just gonna keep working on this one. Again, I don't love it, but I'm gonna find a way to make it work. And on hot and humid days, I, I don't get as oily when I use that combination of these two powders together, but um, I would never 
never repurchase that. Another thing I would never repurchase, this is the Profusion Conceal Palette, and I am making some progress on it. I had swatched it before, but I hadn't really used it. I've been using this salmon color when I do my, I'm shedding here, when I do like a liquid foundation, I've been putting this on to color correct, and then I put my um, julep concealer over top of it and set it, and it's working for me, and I think that's the only way I'm going to get through this salmon color. I'll, I'll worry about the other colors once the salmon is done. I feel like that is going to be the hardest one to get done, so that's why I want to concentrate on that first. I apologize for the glare off my ring light, but, you know, what can you do? So I'm going to just keep trudging away at that. And the last thing that I actually have progress on, you're not going to be able to see. This is the other, one of the other eye primers. This is the Laura Geller Waterproof Spackle. That's what the brush looks like. And you can see I am using it. I like the product itself, the actual primer. I hate the packaging on this. This is one where you twist it and you try to use it, there's nothing there. And then you twist it again, you try to use it, there's nothing there. You twist it again, you start to feel like a tiny bit of product as you're going over your eye for like the hundredth time. And then all of a sudden a bunch just kind of like globs out. It's frustrating, it is frustrating. So like when you wanna use it, you have to click and count to a hundred, maybe 200, and then your product might come out. Otherwise, you're going to click and click and click and click, and then you're going to have a big glob on your eye, and that's not good. It's a waste of product, and it's frustrating. It's a package flaw. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know if anyone else has this problem with these types of eye primers, but I like the primer itself. I really like the primer. I, I'm debating depotting it but then I'm worried that it might dry out so if you guys have used this give me some hints because it is frustrating the heck out of me I, I don't know what to do with it I don't know if I should depot it and try and use it that way with a brush like that I I know and trust or should I just like tough it out and deal with it until that product is gone let me know what you think I really hope you go check out all the other wonderful ladies in this project. They're going to be linked down below, so go check them out and show them some love. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.